In this video, we are going to be comparing the efficiency of the quick sort, bubble sort, and shuttle sort algorithms by sorting this list of numbers into ascending order. And the way that we are going to determine how efficient they are and make that comparison is by counting the total number of comparisons in each case. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little table here for, um, let's have pass and comparisons. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do, I'm just going to try and maintain that for each of the, uh, each of the algorithms. Okay, so let's start off. So six, three, zero, nine, two, one, five, four. So I'm going to start off with the quick sort algorithm. So six is going to be the pivot to start off with. So all the numbers to, uh, that are less than six go to the left. So that would be three, zero, two, one. Uh, 5 and 4, and then we've got the 6, which is now boxed, and we've got the 9. So, I'm just going to ready circling my new pivots, but in that first pass, I made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 comparisons. Okay, so now any number less than 3 goes to the left, which is 0, 2, and 1. Then we've got the 3, then we've got 5, then 4. 6 is then boxed. 9 has got nothing to be compared against, and so gets boxed. Okay, so in that second pass, we compared 3 with 0, 2, 1, 5, and 4. So 5 comparisons, 9 didn't get compared with anything. Okay, right, so 0 and 5 are my pivots. So we're going to have 0, 2, 1, 3, then 4, 5, 6, and 9. The 2 and the 4 are going to be my new pivots. Now in that pass, the third pass, we made uh, one, two comparisons, and then we compared that one as well. So we made three comparisons. So now we've got the zero already boxed. There'll be a swap here. So one, then two gets boxed. Three, four gets boxed. Five, six, and nine. So two got compared with one. 4 got compared with nothing, so on the 4th pass there was 1 comparison. And finally, 1 is going to get compared with nothing. So we've now got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 9. So on that 5th pass there was 0 comparisons. So the total number of comparisons for the quick sort is going to be 7 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1 plus 0. So 12, 15, 16 comparisons. Okay, so we've got 16 for the quick sort. Okay. All right, I won't keep track of all of them, I'll just. Uh, do one by one. Okay. Right, so we've got six, three, zero, nine, two, one, five, four. And we're now going to use the bubble sort. Okay, so in the first pass, uh, starting with six and three. Uh, so 6 is larger than 3, so they're going to get swapped. 6 is larger than 0, so they get swapped. 6 is not larger than 9, so 6 goes there. 9 is larger than 2. 9 is larger than 1. 9 is larger than 5. 9 is larger than 4. And 9 bubbles to the top. So in the first pass, we made 1, 2, 3 comparisons. 
four, five, six, seven. So seven comparisons in total in the first pass. Right, we compare three and zero. Three is larger than zero. Three and six, three is not larger than six. Six and two, six and is larger. Six and one, six is larger. Six and five, six and four, six bubbles to the top. So, uh, how many comparisons do we make in the second pass? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, six comparisons. Then, we're comparing zero and three. So, zero is smaller than three. Then, three and two. Then, three and one. Then, three and five. Then five and four, so five bubbles to the top. So in that third pass, we made one, two, so one, two, three, four, five. So five comparisons were made. Right, then we're comparing zero and two, two and one, two and three, three and four. So four bubbles to the top. So on the fourth pass, we made one, two, three, four. OK, so four comparisons were made. Then zero and one are compared. One and two, two and three. Right, no swaps that time. So we're done. You can close that off. So in the fifth pass, we made one, two, three comparisons. So the total number of comparisons, we've got seven plus six plus five plus four plus three. So that's 13, 18, 22, 25. So 25 comparisons for the bubble sort. So currently the quick sort is winning, as the name would suggest. Okay. So six three zero nine two one five four. So first of all we compare six and three. So they need to be swapped. So three six zero nine two one five four. So in the first pass we've made one comparison. Then we bring in zero. 0 gets compared with 6, and then we swapped. Then 0 gets compared with 3, and they will swap. So 0, 3, 6, 9, 2, 1, 5, 4. So we made two comparisons in the second pass. Then we bring in 9. Well, 6 and 9 are already in the correct order. So on the third pass, we're just going to make one comparison. So we've got 0, 3, 6, 9, 2, 1, 5, 4. And now we're going to bring in 2. So 2 is going to get compared with 9. Then it's going to get compared with 6, then 3, then 0. Because they're going to swap, they're going to swap, they're going to swap, they won't swap. So we'll have 0, 2, 3, 6, 9, 1, 5, 4. So we made 1, 2, 3, 4 comparisons on the fourth pass. OK. Right, then we bring in 1. So 1 needs to be compared with 9 and swap. Then with 6 and swap. Then with 3 and swap. 2 and swap. And 0, no swap. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 5, 4. So on the fifth pass, we made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 comparisons. Right, now we bring in 5. 5 is going to get compared with 9, and they swap. 5 gets compared with 6, and they swap. 5 gets compared with 3, and they don't swap. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, 4. So on the sixth pass, we made 1, 2, 3 comparisons. Then we bring in 4. So 4 gets compared with 9 and they swap. 
4 gets compared with 6 and they swap, 4 gets compared with 5 and they swap, 4 gets compared with 3, no swap. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. So on the seventh pass, we make 1, 2, 3, 4 comparisons. So the total number of comparisons for the shuttle sort is 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 4. So 3, 4, 8, 13, 16, 20. And so, comparing the total number of comparisons for these three sorting algorithms, um, we are getting 16, 25, and 20. So, Quick sort was the quickest and the most efficient in this case, with 16 comparisons. Then came the shuttle sort with 20 comparisons, and then the bubble sort with 25 comparisons.